it's new year and i know i'm too late hey what's up guys yeah it's new year and i know i'm too late but i have something sweet for this new year how to get lollipop on the moto g first gen i am using the xt1033 that is the dual sim variant as you guys already know before getting into the steps i have a disclaimer right there your bootloader should be unlocked so check that and continue in this video so we are going to perform three steps today number 1 flash is to flash the moto g to stock yeah i can spell now and uh, number 2 Change the firmware to Brazilian firmware as the update is a Brazilian file. Yeah, the update is a Brazilian file, but don't worry. And number three, update it to Lollipop as usual. So let's get started. To revert back to stock, you have to head into the Developer Options, enable it by clicking the build number several number of time, and check your USB debugging. And then shut down your phone or reboot your phone. into bootloader mode now in the computer download these three files the firmware the adb and the retail gb bat file to the computer and extract them to a single folder obviously the links are down below in the description so check that before you come and asking the link Now connect the Moto G to the computer with the micro USB cable. If you have correctly extracted all the three to the same folder, you have to click the retail GB bat file just once, and the rest is taken care. After you click, the process is started, and this is what the system and the phone looks like. After it says press any key to continue in the computer disconnect your phone from the computer and restart it It will generally take a lot of time to boot because it's the first boot for the rom And voila you have successfully reverted your phone back to stock Follow the same exact steps like you did for reverting back to stock. Download the firmware, the uh, retail GB bat file, and the ADB, and extract it to a single folder. And reboot your phone by enable USB debugging, and click the retail GB bat file, and that's it. I'm not going to go over every single step because it, they are the same exact steps like we followed in the earlier process. In this process we are only choosing a different firmware and the remaining steps are all the same. If you have followed the steps correctly, you have yourself a Moto G with a Brazilian firmware ready for the update for Lollipop. Updating to Lollipop is a very simple step compared to the other two. Just switch on your phone while it is in the Brazilian firmware and connect it to the PC. In the computer, download this thing with a long name starting with blur and save it to your computer.
Now all you have to do is move the zip file to your phone's internal memory and that's it for the computer part. Now back to the phone, switch off your phone and go to the recovery mode of the phone. Go into the bootloader mode first and go to the recovery mode by pressing the volume up button. If you see a red exclamation mark, you should press the volume up and volume down button simultaneously for 6 seconds and then press the power button. Now all you gotta do is, go to the apply update from SD card and select the file you have put in the SD card, that is the blur, the long, big file with the blur name and hit the power button. Since it's a signed package, it'll take at least 10 to 15 minutes to install it and I'll be back with you guys once it's done. It's finally done and voila, you are booting up into Lollipop. Congratulations. And there, your Moto G is finally sweet. If you like this video, click the big drag subscribe button below or even the big thumbs up button below. And if you have any queries, you can drop them in the comments below. You can see me hanging out and answering. And have fun with your lollipop in your Moto G. And I'll catch you later. Peace. Bye.